I better go all in. Brave move. Huh. Mm hmm. Yes. Skip this one. I think I'll hold off. Uh, yeah. Yep. Let's be brave, all in. Uh, no nope. hell, <laughs> dang, friend. All right, here. Damn it. <laughs> Come on. Let's have a little fun, shall we? Have mercy on my soul. Oh, you're fun. I think I'll hold off. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Let's liven this up a little, eh? Have mercy on my soul. What a sight. <laughs> Not a dog. Oh, hell. Oh, good Lord. I have won. <laughs> ah, well, that was fun while it lasted. Better luck next time. All right, let's go. That's as it should be. Come here. That's all I got. I'll skip this one. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> there we go. What do you know? Nope. Come on. Ah, yes.
Let's wake up a little, shall we? You I'll skip ain't this got one. much. I think I'll hold off. Ain't that something? Looking good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can all go all in. Well, dang, friend. <laughs> Where I've been a little bit <laughs> to That's as it should be. Come here. <laughs> Pathetic. There. Sorry, but time to take things up a little. Damn nation. I ain't gonna back down. Oh. Nobody can win with this. Son of a bitch! Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh, enough of this shit. Bye then. Lady. I better go all in. Hey, what do you know? Yeah. Uh, yep, there. Excuse me. You here to drink or what? Come on, girl. Pull in your horns, friend. Hello. Hi there, ma'am. <laughs> Welcome after a ticket. I need a ticket, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. Greetings and salutations, gentlefolk. This here's a story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods. As you know young people want to do, stealing away all sneaky-like. girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the south nor east from west neither. Then they heard a low moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? She said all the truth. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to ball like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around the tree, came out the other side, and gave her a terrible fright. Boom! She let out a shriek, then went to chastising. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton, she said. Instead of giving a girl protection, you go carry on acting foolish and fresh like the Queen's prize jester. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. 
I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like to stomp up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair, stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The cacophony grew closer and closer, and through the fog, they could make out the shapes of ghost horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them, each wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled and cut his head clean off. Miss Pochard shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hand, his eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what horror had transpired. Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forest. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. When she returned home, she told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the fog. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight for the demonic English. The townspeople erupted in fright and dismay until one daughter came forth and accused her of witchcraft. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. Now let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods in case the English lurk there still. So long. Okay, girl.
show, I presume. Not by a ticket place. You'll find the show in either of the doors beside me. tell you a morality tale from when our country was young, but the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told. Trust me, you want to hear this. I promise you, you're going to want to hear Good. Whoa. 
Hey, you interested in some quick money? I am talking real quick. Yeah, now, it's too open here, but, um, follow me and we'll chat. Okay. Could be interesting. You're all right, so here's what I have in mind. Ah, <laughs> how do you find these damn idiots? You can just tell with some folk. Come on, let's see what he has and dump him somewhere. First time. Out of the way! <laughs> At least this sun is shining. Since the senior Good morning, partner. Welcome back. Hello, I gentlemen. Mister. Good morning, sir. Out of the damn way. Stop right now. The law demands it. Law don't scare me. Jesus. a problem. Now that's what I call a good day's work. What the hell happened? Just let the law handle this. Don't worry. Been so long. Join the game Morning. if you like. Someone made nearly a thousand dollars at the riverboat. Did they smart they'd have left town soon after? I've heard. I reckon yeah. all in. Bigger they I are. Fold. I call. Let's end the suspense. 
Thought I had something for a minute. That ain't fair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, this was right. painful. I'm out. Damn it. Okay. Bye. That locked door got caught. That was fun, but I think I'm calling a quit. Bonjour, monsieur. I trust everything is well? Very well, thank you. I'm gonna go all in. No, no. <laughs> huh. Okay, yes. Let's be brave, all in. Beggars, belief. Yeah. Yep. You know, I think our dear Fredon's been dipping his beak in the billiards. I better go all in. Well, you made your bed, friend. Things beginning to look up. That's as it should be. Come here. The savages are giving businesses a terrible time up north. Hmm. Yeah. I reckon I'll go all in. Goodness me. Things are looking okay. Yes. I saw a lady on a bicycle, you know. My dear, she took herself right across the road. Hey, I wish I lived in simpler times. Let's be brave, all in. Hmm, you know something I don't? Damn! Huh. <sighs> oh, this suits me very well. That was a fun game. Good morning. Pull up a chair. All in. Shit! Hmm. Dirty money is just money. <sighs> I hardly got to play. You know, they're saying the city's revived. <laughs> Good morning, mister. Wanna join here?
There, but nothing. <coughs> Ain't worth nothing. Regrettably, I pass. Hey, Domino, a welcome outcome. Here, how much, I'm afraid. Here's this. You hear they caught one of the laborers stealing... This is something. I'll pass. Pass, I suppose. Nah. Domino, right here. Oh, hello there. Now nah, you'll get a bit. I got a little something. I hear oh, this suits me very well. My condolences. Don't you dare, don't you dare! for nothing. Hey it can't last. Come on! Pass. Domino! I see you brought Small your lock with you. You'll do okay out of me. Here's this. Oh, 
I've seen vagrants making their beds in the streets at night. Unbelievable. There it is. That's it. Ain't worth anything, but there. That's some points. Pass me. Yes. Nothing from me. Yes, pass. indeed. All right. I'll pass. Domino. Shit. Ah, well, here's your taking. Yes, that's what I needed. Wasn't your time. You hear they caught one of the laborers stealing wine from the church? Here, it ain't worth much. This is something. Guess I'll pass. There. Dumb. You are blessed. You know That's that? That's as it should be. Come here. I got a little something. Damn, come, come on. on. Turn it around. Gotta turn, right? All I got is this. There, and points for me.
Perfect. Just perfect. Regrettably, I pass. All done well and domino. And well done. Nothing for you. Olga's going there to let his floor close. He couldn't compete with 15 immigrants who are willing to live in the basement of the store down the street. Yes, indeed. Ain't worth nothing. Dirty money is just money. What a shame. I'm afraid I got matters to attend to. Easy there. You rest up. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Well, then, why do you look like a beaten dog? Big bad Morgan. <laughs> Not now, Uncle. I ain't on the mood. Drink cow piss instead of milk again? <laughs> You're milking the wrong bit, son. Milking the wrong bit. <laughs> That's a metaphor, by the way. If you say so. <laughs> or is it a simile? I, I can't remember. <laughs> I feel like I need some cow piss myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> you betcha. 
can't have been easy for you. Dominoes, anyone? Yeah, all right. So where did you learn to play? Saloons. Dive growing up. By eight, I was playing piano every night in a cat house. <laughs> really? It weren't no life for a child, but I learned a few things. I'm done. Good Dumb. for you, I guess. Yep. Too bad. Nothing for you. I remember you used to play dominoes with Mary. Yeah, sometimes. I always liked her. Me too. But you know how life is. You know it ain't easy. Oh, I do. I'm glad you and John seem to have put your differences behind you. Okay. This ain't worth nothing. You just got lucky. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Not much. Yes. Shit, fine here. Yes. Oh, 
flesh gotta hurt. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Morning. 